I know you guys really love the Kingdoms and Castles series. I know it's many of our favorites. Oh my goodness. I, I don't really know how to say this. Uh, I have some bad news about it, about the Kingdoms and Castles series. Whew. And that is that we're out of stone. Uh, yeah. Our last stone deposit has gone barren and not the good baron. You know, I'm, I'm the good baron. This is the bad baron. The bad baron where we don't have any more access to stone. Now, Joey Vogel in the last video commented that like by having a stockpile out here and allowing it to get destroyed, we lost like 500 stone. Stone is of the utmost importance and the merchants here and I can't even buy it. So what we need to do is say we want zero stone in these stockpiles. So hopefully our people start moving it inside to a more protected stockpile. This one right here. And honestly, that's what they're doing right now. Okay. So stone, oh stone, where are you? Uh, that's not a good fire. And there's another Viking invasion. There's always another Viking invasion. Now, Sun Tzu, in the art of repairing, by way of Graham Workman in the comments last video said that one quick thing we can do is just like this. Look, please repair everything. This is apparently like a really, really cool little, a way to like easily repair everything. And that was in Sun Tzu's treatise on the art of repairing things. So generally speaking, the Viking invasion fleet that usually attacks us is this one up here. I'm not seeing any trolls, but I'm seeing a s an incredible amount of captains. We have our small but hardy army right here. These three groups of archers. The Viking invasion. We thought the last one was the biggest one that I had ever seen. Oh God, okay. Hmm. There was a little fleet that spawned up here and they just sailed and landed right here. Fortunately, we do have a ballista, we have three towers, and we have one group of archers. And this is a peripheral fortress. Now, can I get up on the walls? I cannot get up on the walls. I, I, excuse me, is there a gate that we just didn't replace? Get up on the other side of the moat, because at least there's a drawbridge. Okay! Uh, I see why they decided to attack that area. There's literally nobody there defending it. Um, I mean, there is people defending it, but just not very good. The defense is inferior, needless to say, because, well, the gate. And now we have a small fleet, only four ships, but with two battalions each, so eight battalions of men that are landing on the south side. And honestly, why haven't I decided to move my men? We need to move two archers down here. And then maybe this one we can move uh, over here. Because these guys might actually break in today. Oh, look, they're going to try to get across the water here, I think. I love when they do that. All right, uh, right, let's get up like right here. Because if they keep going this way, that's not going to be too damaging. All right, we definitely want to repair that. And I think it might be time to try to build a cathedral. I just can't really anticipate where the Viking invasions are going to continue to happen. But when you look at my neighbors, I have to wonder. I think we would consider this victorious if everybody else died. I just don't know if the other AI empires can in fact die. Wait a minute, there's a giant troll here still. And let's have you on just like holding position, please. But all said and done, where's the other group? Okay, they're right here. We've done okay. Another troll is deciding they're like, hey man, I see your pants are down. Oh, excuse me, your gate is still destroyed. Why don't I come in and uh, say hi? See what's up. He's, he's immediately going for the other gate. <laughs> so we're gonna use that new tactic called uh, let's just instantly repair. Well, not instantly, but mass repair anything that's broken. So that's nice. I, I wasn't familiar with rebuild mode. All right, so I believe we moved all of the stone inside. We don't want any stone there either. Please move it into the protected areas. So quick glance. Like, look at this. His treasury is busted up. There was talk of, like, invading some of these other islands, but honestly, like, I just don't see it happening. Vincent was also saying that one of the best things we've done is made allies to where, like, Green has actually saved our butt. And she's unfavorable with us. But she has sent armies towards us and basically helped us fight off Viking invasions. So I think what we need to keep doing is training soldiers. We're going to train two more battalions of archers. 
My gosh. Like, it's- there's just too many Vikings. Where are all these Vikings coming from? Like, what is happening over here? They're having, like, a mosh pit. A mosh pit of ships. <laughs> this is really interesting. If they had, like, a ballista or, like, Greek fire or a trebuchet or something, that'd be really kind of cool. Hey. How come these aren't being repaired? I think it was the, like, drive-by catapults that are- that were doing it. Oh, hello! We have a message from our ruler. Is it a gift? Sure. Oh, you need more stone. Everybody needs more stone. I wonder if they're buying my stone. Yeah, so all of our stone is right here. This is probably the most important stockpile in the kingdom. This iron node is pretty much done, so we're gonna shut down one of the iron workers. Guys, we're running out of resources. And we have to figure how best to defend this area. Moats only cost gold. So as long as we have manpower, we can continue that. Libraries and taverns are all too crowded, they say. That's what festivals are for. If I fortified this entire island here, would I could expand and build more city districts, I think. We need the next big project, and I'm not entirely sure what that is. Can you unmote a moat? How do you unmote a moat? There has to be a way to do it. I think you have to put piers in. Man, that is expensive, because piers are 25 of the most precious resource. Stone. I feel like I'm at a loss of things to do. Analysis paralysis is setting in. And I need another tavern, but where do I put one? Here, I guess. Actually, I'm gonna put it, like, back here. Tavern Road. <laughs> Alright, Green's Diplomat has arrived, and whatever they say, we have to sort of agree to it. Oh gosh. What if I say yes? Yes. We must agree to an alliance. This means our troops may move freely on each other's lands. You know what? We're going to become allies. And maybe I should have a troop transport. Oh! Look at this! Now I can see their entire island! I get a watch! The Viking invasions on there, and uh, their walls are definitely in rough shape. Uh, there's a lot of gatehouses missing, and there's just a lot of, like, very strange areas. I'm not entirely sure what the logic is going on over there. And this wood is white. Uh, so they have albino wood, and I don't know how they got it. Now, there's just so many dragons over here. It's- it's one big one, and then so many babies- A whale! Guys, this is a rare thing in kingdoms and castles. And I always wonder, like, wouldn't it be cool if they had, like, a kraken? You know, or, like, sea creatures that could occasionally- Uh-oh. Are my archers gonna shoot at that? Can I buy stone? Yes, I can. Okay, good. We're gonna buy all of the stone we can. And then... We're short on fish. But you can't buy fish. We need tools. Can't buy tools either. This merchant, I gotta say, kinda sucks. But we can sell all of our charcoal here. And I'm thinking one of the things we might need to do is create... Fort Knox over here. Holy crap. <laughs> it's an aerial invasion now. I've never seen so many dragons attack at the same time. Now, once he starts- What if he burnt the merchant ship? Once he starts going, man, he always burns my grain fields, too. Don't do it this time, buddy. I'm not your buddy, pal. Yeah, go attack somebody else for once, huh? Huh? Get out of here. We could sell the wood, but it's only a hundred dollars. We got a fair amount of projects. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's- let's do this. Yeah, repair it. Good, we killed the dragon. Excellent! Oh god, everything's on fire. How are you burning stone? Oh no, that's an archer tower. And it doesn't look like we have a well around. It did survive, though. Which was pretty incredible. And there's another dragon. How many dragons are we gonna have to kill? Whoo! Enough. He landed on the stockpile. I remember dragons used to- ooh, check it out. They used to, like, destroy what they'd fall on. This guy's just roasting this area. And what is- what is, uh, Guan gonna do with this area over here? Do you think it's time to make nice with Hallsbeck? There's actually a building I've never built. And that is the Hall of Diplomacy. We could put that over here. Put the well there. I'll put the Hall of Diplomacy right here. Where is my stone going? I think it's just going to repairing stuff. Cause I don't want anybody else to be buying my stone. Another Viking attack in one year. We've got more armies this time. We have the Central Army and the Northern Army. We'll want to build a ship so that we can send our diplomat out. And even send troops to aid Queen Guan over here. Or Queen Lysen of the Guan. It's a very humble empire, you know? 
most of it's in crumbling state. And there's no real centralization, you know? Like, they've got this farm, this farm, and these farms, and they mix in trees, or apple trees and wheat farms. I don't... <laughs> I can't really explain what they're doing, but maybe we can make nice. It is kind of interesting, though. By leaving that gate destroyed, they sent a decent army up here, and it didn't get a land in an area where, like, they could probably do more damage, which I like a lot. We're gonna train two more archer squads. It is becoming abundantly clear that we need a very, very strong military. Archer towers are not enough. All right, the troll is gonna land early. Their favorite little spot, landing right around here. Is this ballista able to hit him? I think we might actually have to move the ballista like to this spot. Look at this, okay. One of the things we need to do though, is make these guys not like, go crazy. Hey guys, literally I just told you not to do that. Hold stance. Hey, what is your issue? You're gonna die out there. <gasps> How did they just die? Did they get hit with a catapult stone? Okay, what else is going on? Is this invasion meant for us? Where's the next invasion coming from? Or is this all of it? I mean, that is a ton. And look, we can train a diplomat or send a gift. This is amazing. Okay, we are gonna get involved with diplomacy. Yes, we will help you fight the Vikings. Yes! I have just created allies. Guys, we're actually engaging in diplomacy for once. And now I can see what's happening on their island. Okay, so we're gonna pause just to like, oh man, like, not very good. What if my allies just get destroyed right now? Look at this. How do you defend against this? I mean, you got some pretty nice narrow bridges to use. All right, a small contingent is landing here. My archers moved in just in the nick of time. All right, we're just gonna cut them down while they're in the water. Now, how are we doing in other areas? Good. Fantastic. They love destroying this gate. All right, we have defended another Viking invasion, but look at how many ships. There was like over 103 when I just looked. Over 103. One of our allies' realm is just like burning to the ground up here. How do you survive this? There's so many homeless people. Oh, they're just getting robbed left and right. And here? It's a conga line of Viking death. Oh, look. There's a, a freaking bri- like rocks in the way and trees. They didn't gate this off. You need to do something about this. <laughs> Oh, man. This is... incredible. And we've started to kind of work on a project down here. We could wall this off if we want. Our army's getting stronger. And... I need an area to store gold. You know what? I'll do it over here. That's actually a safe spot. And we will get... We don't want anything in here, so they'll move it all out. And then we'll destroy that. We'll make this the Fort Knox. Okay. We've got a short amount of time to do this. All right, so one thing we could do is put wood on top of it. No? I thought you could do stone on top of wood. Whoops. The thought was to maybe put it over here, but this area is like very much attacked. Let's do a festival. Just spend a little bit of our gold. And I need a new spot for people to get up. Merchant, you better have stone. And you do. I don't know who's buying all this charcoal. <laughs> We could buy some tools and some weapons. Oh, and we can buy fish. Excellent. All right, Queen Guan. I mean, Queen Lyson of the Guan. Oh, shoot. They're getting... Okay, we need a boat. We need a boat. <laughs> Otherwise, they're going to start getting mad at us. Transport ship. Build it in the harbor. I feel like if I send one army to each of them, we should be fine. So we'll train two more archer squads. Build that ship. And we'll get rid of that. And this is where our Fort Knox is going to be. Treasure room. 40 stone each. If I would have known that we would have, like, if we just agreed, I thought, it, like, to send troops and we could create allies like that, I would have done that so long ago, just so I could see how they're faring. All right. Troop transport to the docks. And we'll drop one off at each person. So technically I'm participating. <laughs> 
And I just have to do it in three years before the next Viking invasion. Diplomacy's fun, you know? All right, second archery squad. Now we're going to go do our diplomacy things. I don't want to sail too close to here because they'll attack me. Remember that we are at war with King Halsbeck. And I want to put an archer squad at least near your main keep. And we're going to finish the wall. Unfortunately, we cannot make the Vikings pay for it. Now, I don't know what we're going to do with this land just yet. Unfortunately, we don't have black powder weaponry, so no cannons. Drop one off. And you come down here to our friend. Let's see. Okay, we're going to... That should work. Can I get up on the walls? You don't, you don't have a way to get up on the walls. All right, there we go. They're running out of homes. I have so many cool projects I want to do, but not having any stone sucks. Oh, a fire. Probably need a well over here. Yeah, what do we do with this? <laughs> I could make that an, uh, a castle training area. Viking invasion. And dragons at the same time? Are you kidding me? How are we supposed to defend this? Well, anyway, thank you for watching another episode of Kingdoms and Castles. Guys, what are we supposed to do with this big landmass? Once we wall it off and fortify it. I don't know. We could put a lot of towers. We could build houses in here. There's a lot of possibilities. In fact, it looks like if we wanted to optimize this island, we could even expand it if we redid some of the bridges around here. So anyway, thank you for watching. Pull the trigger on the like button if you do want to see more. And I will see you in the next one.